Hey everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher. Welcome back out to the range. Today we have a fun one. We're going to be taking a look at the PSA Jackal 300 blackout with some accuracy at 100 yards. Let's see how it does when we have an LPVO 1 to 6X on it. Let's get shooting. Well, we've got some AAC ammunition. It's their 110 grain black tip. I think it's their saber round uh, for the 300 blackout. We're gonna be shooting five shots. We're gonna try to shoot the upper left corner. We'll see how we do. A little bit of wind. Uh, I was hoping it would be nice and quiet, but just as I'm speaking, it's starting to kick up. Okay, so that's 2045. Again, this is an eight and a half inch barrel. Twenty sixty seven. Twenty eighty nine. There's some good standard deviation there. Twenty one oh eight, and twenty one seventeen. So it kept just kept increasing. Shots seem to settle down. There's definitely like some cold bore action. Let's shoot one more group on that with that Hornady Black. Because things starting to t started to tighten up as the gun heated up, so let's just see if that wasn't a fluke. This is the round that I plan to use out of this gun. I think the 110 grain, especially out of the shorter barrel, is probably the right thing to do. So if you're going supersonic, you want as much speed as possible. Speed kills, and so that's what you want out of this. Yeah, you know, that's like looking like that's like three MOA, two MOA. It's not great, that's for sure. Why don't we try a couple of other rounds out of it? I do have their non black. Let's see if it likes the V Max any better than the black tip. This is a 110 grain, again, Hornady uh, V Max round. See if this shoots any better. This is cheaper ammunition, but sometimes guns like different things. Yes, yeah, so that's not a bad group. Again, that first shot, we're getting probably like so that's probably like inch and a half MOA. Okay, so next up I have some. 125 grain AAC FMJ rounds, just to start changing a little bit of the bullet weight, uh, see if that helps or hurts or what happens. I'm gonna move to the bottom left target. I'm gonna aim for the top of the diamond. In 1959, good, but we have the last one okay that's not a bad group actually might like the 125 grain a uh, little bit heavier grain let's try to test that theory just a little bit more let's go up to 150 grain these are just some winchester deer season xp so we're gonna do 150 grain deer season xp okay i'm gonna be shooting Lower right target. I'm going to try aim for the top of the diamond. We've got our Garmin over here, and we'll see what that gives us. Seventeen seventy three. So much slower going bullet. Seventeen ninety five. All right, well, that was all of those rounds. 
Why don't we go down range? We'll take a look and see what's going on with our targets. Safety first. Okay, this is the first group that we took took shots at. That is the 110 gain black saber. Look, that's one inch, that's two inches. So two MOA. This group here was our intermediate. So this is the 110 grain AMAX. So here to here is less than one inch. Here to here is two, a little bit less than two inches. And then over here, yeah, that's not looking good. This is the other 110 grain saber round. So we go from here all the way up here. And I don't know why I was aiming here. This first one went here and then here, and then we start settling down. I don't really quite get that. But yeah, that's that's like one, two, two and a half MOA. <clears throat> and then we have the 125 grain. A couple of shots, not bad. But again, we're still right around about two MOA. This is 150 grain. It opened up to two and a half MOA. Uh, not a great uh, one either, but you know, hey, look, you could uh, keep shooting and do a few more groups. One five shot group does not make a trend. So again, I hope everyone had a good time today. Hope everyone, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this ammunition, eight and a half inch barrel with the suppressor on it. I have a up, I have improved the trigger on it. The trigger is a um, SSAE True. It's a Geisley trigger. Got that on a sale. Uh, it's much nicer than the original one. Original is terrible. Put a different uh, brace on there. It's a little bit more sturdy, but we're still seeing that we're we're about two MOA on this on this rifle. Let me know what your thoughts are. Eight and a half inch rifle. Uh, that's what I think you're gonna get, right? I mean, I I think this is not this is quote unquote a battle rifle, right? And so for military two to three MOA, this is what you're gonna get. Uh, this would be fine for deer hunting. This would be fine for self-defense, personal defense. So, uh, but let me know what you guys think. If you don't think it is, please put that in the comments below. Were you surprised by how well it shot? Did you think it could have done better? Please put your comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everyone have a great week and let's get to shooting.